All right guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about the productivity tools that I use as a software engineer. I actually saw a couple other videos on this topic and I thought it was really interesting specifically because not all the tools that I use day to day are actually listed or talked about on other people's videos. So today I wanted to give you guys my take on my productivity tools and the tools that I use every single day as a software engineer to get my work done. Like my genie in a bottle. This can get me rich, look like a magazine model. Before you know it, he have all on the stroll. Fresh and right, complexion like alcohol. All right, guys, so before we jump into the first tool that I use as an engineer, I just want to remind you guys to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really helps me reach a larger audience and push this video out to more people. So I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys consider doing that for me. So now without further ado, let's jump into the first tool that I use as an engineer. And that's really just the IDE or the text editor that I typically use. And for me, that's actually Vim. So Vim is a tool that I've been using probably consistently day to day for like three, a little, maybe a little bit more than three years now. And I'm not some sort of like Vim try hard, like power user, you have to use Vim, otherwise you're dead to me. But I do think that the Vim is like a very lightweight, fast tool to use. I think it's great for editing files very quickly. I do think that once you're into a larger code base, it can become a little bit more difficult to use Vim, especially when you're switching between different languages and you have to jump from file to file. I do know like, I would like to say a lot, I guess it's all relative though, but I do think I know a lot of the hot keys in Vim and I'm pretty fast at using it, but I do find that when I am jumping between different languages, it becomes a lot harder to actually use Vim efficiently um, because you have to figure out how to parse the different files and so that Vim actually knows like where a function is being called from or where that function is declared. Uh, you know, if you want to know, for example, where a function is declared and go look at the code that, uh, you know, that function has, it becomes a lot harder, I think, than a typical IDE. Global searching in an IDE is pretty easy, um, as well as jumping you know, to and from different files. But again, I think once you actually get all that set up in Vim, I think it's really, really great to use. I really enjoy it personally. I think it's more fun. And I also noticed, since I started using Vim, I have noticed that I really hate putting my hand on the mouse. I think it's a lot slower. I think scrolling through files in that way is a lot more annoying and tedious. Um, but that being said, I do recommend using Vim if you guys haven't learned it yet or haven't tried it. I think there's a little bit of a steep learning curve, but I think once you get to a certain point where you're productive, you're really gonna be happy that you started using it. Now on the other flip side though, when I am in a larger code base or when I don't really wanna deal with setting up all my dot files, my VimRC, et cetera, on new machines and stuff, it's just really a pain. All the plugins you have to install and configure. And then again, when you switch between languages. So when I do use an IDE, I prefer to use IntelliJ. I found that IntelliJ is very, very powerful. It does have this cool feature too, that when you try and use it or you open it, it makes your laptop sound like it's taking off because it just hogs all of your RAM. Um, but aside from that, it's great. I think it's really fast. I think it's very easy to use. Um, and it's a very powerful tool. It has built-in debugging, build tools global searching, right? Anything you would expect from an IDE. So it's very, very powerful. And so when I'm not using Vim or when I'm dealing with larger code bases, or honestly, when I'm just too lazy to sort of set up my environment on a new machine, I tend to use something like IntelliJ. So now moving on to the next productivity tool that I use, and this is pretty standard, I imagine, across basically all engineers, and that's Git. And so whether it's Git or some sort of other form of version control, it's really, really important to actually be able to work collaboratively with different engineers, right? I might need to pull code down from the master branch or checking code that I have in some sort of feature branch or release branch. Um, it's very important to be able to check code in and out and work and integrate code together uh, with people that you're working with to actually have a smooth development process. And so Git, again, is gonna be one of those tools that is absolutely essential to that sort of workflow. and that's something that I use constantly, you know, obviously every single day. Personally, again, like I like to use that through the command line, sort of like Vim. I just like staying in the terminal. That was also how I learned it uh, at my first job and in college as well. I learned everything through the command line, which I think is very useful. I think it's very nice to actually understand what's happening behind the scenes or what commands are being run as opposed to just clicking buttons in uh, a GUI. So I know a lot of other people use things like source tree, which is effectively using Git or some sort of other version control uh, through UI. But again, I just sort of prefer to the terminal. I think it's a lot easier. I think it's faster. And again, that's just sort of the way that I learned it. So I have nothing against people who use a UI to, to use Git. But again, that's sort of just how I learned and that's what I've stuck with. And, and I've, I've enjoyed doing it through the terminal. So I just sort of stick with it. 
So the third productivity tool that I use almost every single day is actually an app called Notion. If you guys have not checked out Notion, it's a really, really great app. It's very beautifully designed and it could basically do just about anything you want in terms of note taking, to-do lists, uh, wiki docs for like engineering or it's sort of like a confluence built in as well. So I use Notion specifically for to-do lists. I really personally like going to bed every single night and sort of trying to write down three different things that I want to do the following day. And this really quickly allows me to know what I want to accomplish in that day, as well if I decide to get up early or I have some free time to actually accomplish those tasks, I know immediately what I can start working on, as opposed to sort of mulling through my, my thoughts and figuring out what should I do right now. I can very quickly just open the Notion app and see, oh, okay, the second thing I want to do is X. And so I can sort of very quickly keep track of that, cross things off my list, keep track of the progress I've made in past days or roll over or keep, I guess, to do's that I haven't done yet. And in addition to that, I actually also really like using Notion for the Daily Byte. If you guys aren't aware, Daily Byte is basically a interviewing service that I'm running to try and help you guys prepare for your technical interviews. If you guys want to check more about it, you guys can check out the dailybyte.dev. But I use Notion to actually organize all the different things that I have to do for the Daily Byte, from writing problems, writing solutions, uh, feature requests, bugs that we might have, et cetera. So basically all the different things that I'm doing for the Daily Byte are kept in Notion, including wiki docs about the system, how to set up a QA server, all these different things that we have to do for that site is all kept in Notion. So it's really a great planning tool for me personally and professionally. I can't recommend it up. If you guys have not checked out Notion, I highly recommend you do it. Notion's also very easy to get started with. It's it's very simply designed. I think it's also very intuitive. And on top of that, it's very easy to move between your different devices. So I have Notion on my phone as an app. I have it on my computer as well, downloaded from the app store. And it obviously just syncs across the cloud. So it's super, super easy to keep all the things that I have to do in one spot. And I, I constantly use Notion, so I highly recommend you guys check it out. So the next productivity tool that I use as an engineer, and I use this very, very often, especially now that I'm working remotely is something called screen. And so screen has really and truly changed the way that I pair program and how I, I guess, enjoy pair programming now that I'm away from all my different coworkers. Um, screen is something that I used at my last job specifically, but I can't recommend it enough. It's actually made by the person who made Screen Hero, which is acquired by Slack. And effectively what it allows you to do is collaborate with someone in real time. So you could still see the person on video chat, like you're video chatting, and then you could share your screen and sort of like Slack, someone can sort of, you know, like draw on your screen if you're on a video chat with them and you're sharing your screen, but they also allow you to actually take over the other person's computer. And so I've noticed that it's really, really, really helpful for pair programming instead of the person, you know, having to type the, I don't know, the code that they want refactored or mention the line, they can actually just drive, take the wheel and just say, okay, we're going to refactor this function or we're going to move this to a different file or whatever has to be done. I found that it really saves you a lot of time when you're pair programming. So I really recommend you guys check out screen. The, the website's actually screen.so. So if you guys want to go take a peek, I recommend it. It really changed the way that I pair program and how much I enjoy doing it, especially now that I'm remote. And I think it will for you guys too. So the last productivity tool that I want to talk about is called Flux. And if you guys have not heard of Flux, basically what it allows you to do is change the light on your computer so that it's not super harmful to your eyes. So as engineers, and I'm sure in every way, in every walk of life at this point, you stare at screens, whether it's through this camera right now or my you know, desktop screen here, or it's my laptop or my phone. We're literally staring at infinite screens, whether I'm at work or not. And so Flux has been a really, really great way for me to sort of like save my eyes, aside from just blue light glasses as well, to make sure that especially later at night, the strain on my eyes is a lot less and I can control the, the temperature of the light that's coming off my screen basically. And so it really, I have found, I think it puts less strain on my eyes. I actually, my eyes will start hurting if I don't use Flux after a certain amount of time. So that's really helpful to use it for that. And then in addition, to that, I think it actually improves my sleep. Um, I, again, I can't back this up with any science necessarily, but I do feel like when I do use Flux or my blue light glasses, I think that I'm able to sleep better. My eyes are less tired and less strained throughout the day. And I can actually sit and work comfortably for a longer period of time. So if you guys have not checked out Flux, I also recommend checking that out. I think it will change how long you can basically sit at your desk and not have to strain your eyes. And I think it'll honestly improve your sleep as well. All right, so those are the productivity tools that I use almost every single day as a software engineer. If you guys have any tools that I did not mention, be sure to leave them in the comments below and we can discuss. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you guys leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Like my genie in a bottle. Biscuit get me rich, look like a magazine model. Before you know it, he have her on the stroll. Fresh and ripe, complexion like Acapulco gold. If I had to guess just right, not a day old. Like a cradle robber, cop the off shop, a trailer load. Know the right number, you could get.